These things, as long as you have a smartphone, you can actually utilize the cameras on these things and use it as a webcam. And today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But first, let me just finish up the rest of my day. Sometime last week, I received a message from three former colleagues of mine asking me pretty much the same thing. And what they were asking me about was, you know what, let me just pull up the message. One second. All right, so here's the message right here. And to summarize it, is it possible to use something else as an alternative rather than buying a webcam? Well, it is a matter of fact that the rear camera of most mobile phones these days would have at least a minimum of 16 megapixels at 1080p. And that's what we'll be using as your webcam for your computer. So we'll head to my desktop real quick so that I can quickly show you how to use your mobile phone as a webcam. First, from your browser's address bar, go to rion.com, click on the link that's suitable for your operating system, and after it downloads the installation file, just go ahead and install it, accept the agreement, and hit on Next. For me, I just normally install at the default directory, so just hit on Next, and then go ahead and click Install. So now that we're done installing, we'll set that aside for the time being, so I will just uncheck the box right here, and hit on Finish. We'll come back to this one in a few. Now, on your mobile phone, go to Google Play, do a search for Arian, and it should quickly pull up the installer for it. Go ahead and install the app, and once that's done, this is what the icon should look like on your main app screen. Let's go ahead and tap on that and hit on Next. Now that the app is treating your phone as a webcam, allow the app to use it while the app is active for both camera and microphone. At this point, it will now wait for the connection request that will be coming from the application we installed on your desktop. Now go back to your desktop, double click on the Arian icon, and this is where you'll be directed. This is where you can choose the output resolution of your camera going to your conferencing software. Now let's quickly head to Zoom so we can test it out. Launch Zoom, go to Settings, hit on the Video tab on the left side, and on the camera, selection box you should now be able to choose area select that and you should immediately see that it's properly connected let's do a test meeting activate our video so we can fully test it out so there you go that's how you enable your mobile phone to act as a virtual webcam while it's connected to your desktop one of the advantages that i see in using your mobile phone as a webcam is that it connects to your computer wirelessly as long as you are connected to the same network although one disadvantage is just like any other app you need to make sure that it's closed or shut down on your mobile phone when you're not using it otherwise it can quickly drain your battery well that's all we have for today and i hope you guys find this video helpful and as always my name is george and if i can you can. We'll see you on the next video.